taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up and do the 90% of crab fishermen, they stop fishing after the spawn You know, it's too hot, the fish don't bite You know, I've heard it all But I'm gonna tell you today, we've got slick calm conditions it's almost 100 degrees out here in South Carolina and we're about to go put some fish in the boat. It is currently almost noon. You know, we're going to go check a couple shallow brush piles. Yeah, I said shallow. You know, people think you got to fish 25 to 30 foot all year. No. There is fish moving from their spawning areas to their summertime places and if you cut them off, you can catch them real good. Now I will admit, it is hot out here. I'm already sweating. I got a little bit of a sunburn. So we're probably gonna hit a couple brush piles and then we're gonna hit the bridge and finish our lemon. So y'all stay tuned. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and a big yee to everybody. Nice. <clears throat> there we go. So let me tell you how I found this brush pile real quick. That's a good 10 inch right there. Literally I'm out here fishing this this little area right here for bass. Throwing a swimming fluke. See a big old wad of fish on the grass. I throw in there with a five inch swimming flute. Catch, catch a crappie. <laughs> oh. So now, instead of bass fishing, we're gonna see how many we can pick off this dang brush pile right here. I'll tell you, man, I'd be finding the weirdest brush piles. This brush pile is in 10 foot of water. Water temp's almost 80 degrees and it is freaking loaded with big crappy. So we're staying off probably about 20 feet from it. And I mean, this thing is just freaking stacked and they are hungry. Oh, see how many we can pull off of it. So I'm just throwing a little bit past it, letting it go down. Like I said, it ain't very deep. So you gotta let it go down too much. We're just crawling it over a little brush pile. Getting them to come out the brush and come eat it. Still pretty cool though. I'm pretty much right next to it and we're in 10 foot of water. Godly, that's a nice one. Had me hung in the brush. Yes, sir. That one, man, he was in the brush. That's three off this little nine foot brush pile. Middle of May. Man, that's why I love fishing. You just never know what's going to happen in your day-to-day -day life. God, there he was again. They are freaking smoking it. I'm using a dirty green color. No reason. I mean, the water's clear. Could probably get away with using ghosts, honestly. But... No sense to change it if they're gonna bite up. I just had a bag of dirty green at the top of my tackle box. So I put it on. Which I mean, if they're hungry, color don't mean much in my opinion. It's the profile and that little minnow profile, second to none. It just don't get no better than that. See, there's a big school of them running right now. I wonder if that's how I caught that one on the fluke. 
try to let it fall down into them and see if that's where the aggressive ones are. I think I ran them out of the brush, honestly. Either that or I done backed off of it, which I needed to do anyway. Yeah, I think that's what I did. That's fun. Now we can start long casting it again. Find my jig. Make sure I'm in the right spot, and I am. Pulling under that. <laughs> nice eater size fish. All right. On that dirty green. Number four. But the key to these brush, these shallow brush piles like this, you've got to stay off of them as much as possible. I mean, you can run over them sometimes and they won't all go away, but if you can stay as far as you can back, you got a lot more chance to pull more off of the brush pile than if you get right on top of it. Now, I mean, me personally, I like fishing straight down more than I do casting. But when they're this shallow, I don't think casting going to help me out much. I mean, fishing straight down is going to help me out much. Of course, casting is going to help me out. That's what I'm doing now. Just a slow retrieve. I'm watching that bow with my line. Oh, he was there. Pull my pants down. Get him back out there. Oh, not too far. It is kind of hot out here, though. We may finish this video up under the bridge as I catch a couple more. All right, we got a good little, a little pitch over there now. I'm going to let it fall and see what happens. Crank a real slow. Yeah. If you get the one that wants it, man, they want it. But a lot of them just picking at it. Like that one. That was a small one. I believe it's a pretty mixed bunch of fish like you got some big ones some small ones but still i mean to pick up about four or five before i've even technically started crappy fishing for today that's pretty good That's the thing about these little brush piles and shallow water too, man. One day they're going to be here. Next day you ain't, they ain't, so you better catch as many as you can off of it. Because I'm sure after this video post, everybody's going to be looking at the bank and be like, Oh man, I know where that's at. Let me go catch them real quick. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a hee-haw right there, guys. Oh, nice fish. 10 foot of water. Come on. It don't get no better than that. We're going to play him out a little bit. Man. That is a toad. Oh, come here, buddy. 
quit it. Quit it. Oh man, oh man. Check out that monster right there. For this time of year, shoo. That's about 12 or 13 inch here. Got a little summertime gut on him. Back straps. <laughs> he goes, hee haw. Yes, sir. You put him in a live well, he just flops on in. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, my live well stank. Hit it with some baking soda. I gotta put some water on these fish here in a minute. All right, that's so what we got so far. I got some water in the cooler. But we got six off that brush. So, not too bad. But as you can see from all the sweat, it's noon. So, it's time to go to the bridge. See if we can't catch some there. After we cool off a little bit, we may hit some docks. But, oh, never fished that brush pile before. Pretty good brush pile, but like I said, it's in 10 foot of water. These fish just happen to be there. I mean, the water's almost 80 degrees. So honestly, to me, it makes no sense. But at the same time, I mean, this just could be their stopping place as they're coming from their spawning flat. There's actually a big spawning flat right behind the camera right now if you go back in the cove. So they could just be making their way out going out to the main lake and i happen to be at the right place at the right time but anyways we're gonna take this little 30 minute run all the way back to the bridge see if we can't smoke 14 more of them Had a little split shot. So really we're probably around a little bit above 132 now. Just throwing it out there and giving it out that old that old granny wine. A lot of fish here, but a lot of inactive fish, if that makes sense. But it seems like everywhere we go, that's how it is. You've got to make them chase it. And then I guess they get tired of chasing it. And they're like, well, I didn't commit it all this energy. Let me just bite this thing like that one right there. Get in here, man. Number eight. Let's go. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> yes, sir. Number eight. I didn't buy that bag of ice for no reason. <laughs> so now we're gonna do the tried and true guys. Gonna re repeat the cast. <clears throat> Stone it out there, letting it go down about five foot, and we just crawl in it. So I feel this, this old ACC smack. And then we're gonna put a hook in them. That may be the only two we get off of this pillar. But that's two more than we had before. Bit to this dock. They want to bite better here than they are over there because I was just taking way too long. I'm 
probably could have definitely grinded it out at the bridge, but it probably it probably take you about six hours of repeated cast because I mean they weren't deep at all. That does not sound fun to me. Bite. There's probably like 10,000 of them up under there, it seems like at least 500. Like, no joke, 500 of them this size. <laughs> That'd be number nine. Nice one. Get in here, boy. Number 11. A nice, pretty one. Good size fish. So my camera was set to time warp. So y'all didn't even get to see that. Freaking post spawn two pounder, anyone? <laughs> Look how thick that fish is. That's every bit of, let's see, 15 inches. Freaking slab, dude. Golly. <laughs> oh, six more to go. feet of water. That was probably pound 80. I don't know, he may be about the same size. Oh, got him. That is a freaking giant, dude. God almighty. Hook just comes right out. <laughs> It don't get no better than that, guys. I told y'all. Get out here in the summertime and you can find them absolute giants. We're, we are sitting in 12 feet of water. 12 feet of water, guys. We caught two of them on. One I know is probably pushing two, and this one's a good pound 80 back to back. Five more to go. And there's a lot more in this brush. Let's see if we can get a three for three. Switch to that crappy man green. Put it on them. Oh, we done did a bad cast on it. Still might be able to get one out of here. Get it. Come on. Alright, they 
I love messing up my shrieks. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. So we're gonna do another giveaway. So if you stayed around this long, I'm gonna be giving away a 20 pack of Little Minnows, Crappy Man Green, what we caught the big ones on today. You know, unreal day. I did not expect to catch two giants and we caught a lot of good fish today. Really shallow. All of them except on the bridge were 12 foot or less. The water temp's 80 degrees. So here's how you win the giveaway. You gotta be subscribed to the channel, like the video, share the video, and comment down below what color you would like to see in the Crappy Man lineup. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace.